What's up YouTube, FT Dub here bringing you another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a spinning watermark you can add to your videos. I'm going to be using a Cinema 4D and Sony Vegas Pro 10. Uh, sorry if there's any background noise, my girl's birds are going crazy today. So let's go ahead and get started here. First thing I want to do is go to MoGraph and grab a MoText. I'm going to change the depth to around 60. Not 660, there we go. Um, change the text to FT dub. Uh, caps, fillet cap, fillet cap. We'll make them five steps, two radius on each one. Five steps, two radius. Now I'm going to change the font to, uh, let's see, something simple. What I used last time, Babis New. There we go. And then I'm gonna align my text into the middle. Now I got two materials already made. There's a chrome and a blue. You can use whatever materials you want. This is just an example video. There's the birds going off. All right. First thing we want to do is grab our blue material, add it to our text. Grab our secondary material, add it to our text. Then we're gonna go where it says selection. Put in a capital C and a number one. And then on projection, I always use frontal. You can put whatever you want. And what that does is that makes the secondary collar on the front. The first collar will stay on the rest of the text. I'm going to give you a little example of what it looks like right here. As you can see right there. Okay, now pretty much all we need to do is uh, animate our text. Select our text. Go back to zero on our timeline. And select a keyframe on zero. Then we'll go to around 35 frames. We'll go to our H value. We're going to type in 180 degrees and click apply. And then we'll add a keyframe there. Then we're going to go around to 75 frames. Get to our H value on rotation and type in 360 degrees and then click apply. And then add a keyframe. And if you play that back, it's a simple spinning animation. Okay, then uh, go to your render settings. You go to output, 1280 for your width. Your height will be 720. Um, frame range, select all frames. You know, just make sure all frames are selected. And there's 90 frames total. Um, on save, <clears throat> I'll save the format as a PNG. Make sure alpha alpha channel is selected. Now, uh, for your file save, I would uh, actually suggest you know saving a creating a folder. You know, right click on your desktop or whatever you do, and you know create a folder because you're going to have 90 different images in here. Okay, once you do that then you're pretty much set to go and you just hit your middle button to render it out I've already rendered mine out so we'll just go right to Sony Vegas okay once you're in Sony Vegas you wanna this is just a clip I've added it's a Modern Warfare 3 clip from my boy Maven X Dopey you just wanna right click next to the clip insert a video track go back to the beginning of your timeline and then you want to hit and hold control and press the letter O. Control O. And then select the very first one. This will bring up your folder with your watermark in it. Select the very first one. And down here where it says open still image sequence, make sure that is selected. Click open. And then uh, just drag this out to this ending of your clip. And if you play this, it's going to be a little laggy. I got so many programs open. It'll create a little spinning animation that we made. Now you don't want it to be on your screen like it is right there. So you're going to want to select your pan and crop and zoom out. And then you're just going to drag the corner and get it to the desired size you want. Place it wherever you want onto your image. I'm going to put mine up in the upper right corner. You can just drag the boxes bigger, put it wherever you want. And 
there you go. And when you uh, <coughs> render out your file, you'll have your spinning watermark up in the corner or wherever you place it. If this helped out in any ways, please uh, give this video a like. Um, leave any comments below. If you have any requests for tutorials, just message me here on YouTube. And thanks for watching.